Hello everybody and welcome into this Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023 edition of One Nation Weather. We're talking about the potential for severe weather returning to the plains as we go later this week. I've got the details on that coming up in just a minute. But for, for now, let's go ahead and get a look at the overall setup for your Tuesday for you here. Focus on the present and not the future. You can see we've got a system still in the northeast. Multiple little areas of low pressure creating some troughing. Just looking at a general widespread mess in these zones. We've, oops, we've still got a little bit of snow falling in portions of the upper peninsula of Michigan some of that mixed precipitation for most of the gloves, some of that going down the Appalachian chain, even into portions of Tennessee and western North Carolina through the Virginia zones for you there. West Virginia, we've got a little bit of some snowfall going on in your eastern mountains for you there. And then notice some of that rain, maybe some thunderstorm coverage along that I-95 corridor. And then also we're seeing some showers and storms develop back into portions of a dry line for you here that's going to get going from portions of New Mexico over into Texas and Oklahoma. Some of those storms could be on the stronger side. I'll show you that in just a minute. But for your high temperatures for today, still in the 60s and 70s for many spots in the south and east. We've got 40s and 50s in the north and east. Notice these temperatures starting to build back into the plains, some mid-80s, even some 80s up in portions of Montana for the day today. So very warm back into some of these western zones, and as that warmth builds northward, we're looking at the severe weather risk, a small zone from portions of far eastern New Mexico into portions of west Texas, but nonetheless, we'll see some of these storms get going, maybe Amarillo getting impacted by a few of these. You could see by around 5 p.m. Central Time, we'll see this disorganized mess of some spotty showers, probably some rumbles of thunder, and maybe some isolated severe weather getting going. Tornadoes are not anticipated in today's severe weather risk. It is going to mean mainly wind gusts around 50 to 60 miles per hour, as well as the potential for some of those hailstones to get up to about a quarter size which is an inch in diameter. You can see 7 p.m. Central Time, the storm start to build a little bit more of these individual cells. And by around 9, I think that's when things are going to be peaking for us here. Some of these showers and storms, even working a little bit in further towards the central zones of Texas, that looks to fade away. And then we'll see kind of a line develop by around 11 p.m. That'll fade off as we go into the overnight hours. Tuesday, your 5 p.m. Eastern Time radar for you here in the northeast shows that we'll have some, some of that snowfall going on. Notice into portions of West Virginia as well. And then we'll just see some of the scattered rain. A 993 millibar low, pretty strong low pressure system for you there, and it's still going to be cranking even as we go into our Wednesday. Notice this moisture does look pretty light in general, but it will give us some pretty considerable totals in some locations for about an inch or so of rain coming out of portions of Maine, going back into portions of Vermont, all the way over into portions of southern Massachusetts for you there, as well as into portions of Rhode Island. And then back into this zone in portions of Pennsylvania and West Virginia. But that rainfall that it's shown for there is really going to come as snowfall in those zones where we could see around a half a foot, maybe even a little bit more snowfall for you there in those zones. Notice the snowfall totals are going to be pretty lackluster for us here, only about a half an inch to a couple of inches in those zones that see that snowfall briefly. Your setup Wednesday shows that we'll see some more of that mixed precipitation into some of these zones from portions of western Maine and New Hampshire, Mount Washington getting in on some of that as well as into Vermont. And then, of course, some of that mixed precipitation going down the Appalachian chain. Notice the thunderstorms continue in the plains. High temperatures on your Wednesday getting back into the 80s in many spots across the central and western tier. We'll see some 50s starting to build back into portions of Michigan, so we will be recovering Boston near 56. Temperatures in the 70s to the 80s in the southeast. And then notice, as this is not high temperatures on Thursday, this is your overall setup. You can see showers and storms pushing eastward through the plains, still some moisture in the northeast. And look what this is going to trigger, a Thursday severe weather risk for you here. As that warmth builds north on your Thursday, that's when we're looking for the potential of this risk to develop. Level 1 to level 2 risk, you can see that stretching from portions of South Central Kansas through portions of Central Oklahoma. Yes, Oklahoma City is included. Wichita Falls might get in on some of this a little bit further west of the Dallas Metro, but still level one for you. Going back to the Mexico border for you there, and look at these temperatures that are going to be developing Thursday afternoon. Some spots near 90 in this zone, and the dew points are really going to be on the rise. Some spots here in South and Central and Southeast Texas for here are looking at dew points near 70. That's not where the worst of your weather is, but still 60s expected to go all the way up into places like Oklahoma City for your dew points. So we are looking at these clusters of thunderstorms developing Thursday afternoon. Subscribe, hit the like button. Here's the credits. A special thank you to Tropical Tidbits, Levi Cowan, and Pivotal Weather.